essentially what caused Grenfell was a confluence of three issues that are really the basis of neoliberalism. So there's re-regulation in the interests of capital at the expense of human life. And so we see that in not only Thatcher taking what were 300 pages plus of building regulations and replacing them with around 24 pages of building regulations, but we also see it in Prescott in 2003, approved document B, the alterations that were made then allowed combustible cladding to be to be fitted for buildings. Um, you also see uh, local government basically converted into conduits of corporate power, so our national government may be a facilitator of corporate power, local government and with the example of uh, Kensington and Chelsea is a you know perfect example you have them today coming out with 220 million pound property portfolio private property portfolio for Kensington and Chelsea you know there is um, legislation set in place that when a construction company is building a new um, complex in in, a, in an area they can escape the obligation for affordable housing within that new complex by paying a fee to the mm. local government. Now, the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, according to um, New York Times, received um, £33.4 million in these types of payments in um, September 2016. Um, the deputy leader of RBKC, um, Rockfield and Mellon, who actually was responsible for the change from a fire-resistant zinc cladding to the cladding that was used, and that actually violated EU procurement uh, rules because if you were going to make that change you should have given the other companies the opportunity to bid for it which he didn't do he just went ahead and made that change against the wishes of the community was that legal actually said, well as far as i'm not a lawyer but yeah. as far as i understand it was against eu procurement um rules because if you make a change like that yeah. upon something that had been agreed upon by the community they said we are happy with this fire resistant zinc cladding mm. and then he made the change because it was we want good prices for Rockfield and Mellon. That yeah. was what the email said. Yeah. And um, and they went ahead and changed it to the Arconic um, uh, uh, polyethylene, six millimetres of polyethylene um, cladding. So, uh, you know, that's the second uh, of these three issues. The third issue is, of course, you know, austerity, you know, a situation where you've got a thousand uh, jobs in the fire service cut, you've got a hundred million pounds cut from the fire service, you've got something like uh, 10 fire stations closed down, 29 fire engines uh out of use, you know, when fire deaths were up by 20%, you had uh, fire funding in the borough cut by 50%, you know, so you're in a situation where not only when the fire brigade came, were they blocked off from three sides of the building by the refurbishment and by the building of the school, which the uh, Grenfell Action Group had warned would make things disastrous in the um, instance of a fire, they had to bring in a ladder from Surrey in order for them to get halfway up the building. They went in with walkie-talkies that didn't work. And then on top of that, which is also indicative of what you have in other buildings that have this poisonous cladding and insulation in, they had a stay put policy. You know, this is absolutely disastrous. People were told to stay in their homes. You know, but the, the, the fact is, is those three main issues, I feel, um, were, you know, it's a confluence of those three mm. issues that caused Grenfell.